interrupt this program for a special report. Breaking news. Santa Claus here. I've been dealing with some very nasty boys lately. <laughs> I mean, naughty boys lately. <laughs> they mean business. Oh, yes. If the Joker doesn't get $1 million by midnight tonight, Christmas will be canceled? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's right. Midnight tonight. I want my money. Well, guess what? Christmas is canceled. <laughs> Oh no, Blade Man! Chucker's got Santa! We better do something about it. You're right, Throttle. If Christmas gets canceled, I won't get Chainsaw Teddy Bear for Christmas! Right. Wait a minute, Blade Man. Didn't they outlaw Chainsaw Teddy Bear because it was chopping off kids' hands? There's no time to discuss these pointless matters. We have to save Christmas! To the Blade Mobile! To the Blade Mobile! Guess what, Santa Claus? There ain't gonna be a Christmas this year because nobody's paying up. <laughs> You've been a bad boy, Choker. There's no gifts for you this year. Ha! I don't need your stinking gifts, Santa Claus. Because guess what? If I want something, I'll just wait until a coupon comes up for it or it goes on sale. Then I'll get it at a reduced price, all right? But you know what? I don't need to this year because I got a whole sleigh right outside full of gifts. <laughs> Those are for the kids. <laughs> oh, Not criminals. Oh, oh, they're for the little kitties. You won't get away with this, Choker. Blade Man and Throttle are probably looking for me right now. Oh, Blade Man and Throttle. Ooh, I was real scared. Yeah, well, guess what? They're not finding this place because it's a super secret location, all right? Those two jokers couldn't even find the oil dipstick on a chainsaw if their lives depended on it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Everyone knows you don't change the oil on a chainsaw dipstick. Now it's time to free Santa and get my chainsaw teddy bear! Ha! I don't think so, Blade Dude. Guess what? It's time to meet Choker's little helper. Get him, Jingle Bells! <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you a way of fixing the recoil if you've got one of these snow blowers and the recoil isn't catching. You go to pull the rope and half the rope comes out and then it catches and then you pull it back and that's very frustrating. The problem is if you're fixing this yourself or if you're a shop owner you can't buy any repair parts to fix the recoil. You have to buy the whole assembly. You can buy a cheap aftermarket one for like less than $20 on Scamazon or Fleabay. But I'm gonna show you how we can use this Tecumse, Tecumish part to fix the recoil to keep it from skipping. And it's a real simple, inexpensive part. So the first thing we need to do is take it all apart so we can get at the recoil. So to save time, we already took a lot of the stuff off. So you gotta take the key out, take the gas cap off, take the three screws out that hold this panel on, take the three bolts out that hold the chute on, take the two bolts in the front that hold the cover on, and you can take this cover off. There's our recoil right there. Now this one's catching, but every once in a while it won't catch. You know, you can pull it out pretty far and then it'll catch. But I've had some of these where you pull the rope out about this far and it won't catch. Now we need to take these two screws out so we can take this back panel off. And again, we've already kind of did that to save time. So now we're going to take this bracket off here, 
which is held on with two bolts here and one in the center. And then these two gas tank bolts. So we can get the gas tank off and get this out of our way. So we're gonna need a 7 16 on both sides. Take that cup washer off. Now I got to get the one on the other side. So I'll use a shallow. Then I got to get in there, pull the other end. This one's a little trickier. So even if you had to replace this recoil, you still got to do all this to it. Now that'll slip off of there. We can get this off. Now we're going to take this part off. These are quarter inch. So let me get a quarter inch socket. Now this is an in an R pack. This engine on this snowblower is an r -Tech engine, which is made by Brakes and Scrap'em. And you're probably sitting there thinking, you're gonna use a Tecumish part on a Briggs? That's right, I'm using a Tecumish part on a Briggs recoil. Again, looked up the recoil. We're gonna show you on the parts breakdown on the inner screen that you can't buy any repair parts for this. Well, let's take a little walk. Come on. Come on, grass rats. Take a walk to the computer. So here we are on ProPartsDirect.net's website, and we've looked up this model snow trower. It's a CCR3650. That's the model. And there's the recoil, and look, there's no parts breakdown. You have to buy the whole recoil. That's actually a Briggs part number. See, obtained from Briggs, BriggsAndScrapEm.com. Or call us for a price, which is very expensive. So, what's in there that we're going to replace is this little plastic wedge. We're going to pop out the old one. And we're going to install this new one, which is metal. And there's the Tecumish part number. 590760. So what this does is when you jam it down in there, it puts more tension on the little recoil part that when you pull it, it creates friction, which kicks out the paws or dogs that grab the starter cup. So here's ours. See, there's the plastic wedge that's in there. So you gotta get a little screwdriver. Pop out the old wedge. Come on, little wedgie. I probably got too long of a screwdriver in here for one. There's that plastic wedge. That one I just showed you that I had, that came out of a snowblower that I did about a week ago. But Mr. Cameraman wasn't here. So we figured we'd do it on this one.
But his rope, I'd go to pull it and the rope would come out about that far before it would catch. Sometimes it wouldn't catch at all. It would just, you just keep pulling on it. And that's frustrating. So here's the new one. See, see how, see how, without that wedge in there? See how it's not catching all the time? That's what that one was doing that came in. And you're like, gosh darn it, why won't that thing catch? See how it's doing that? See? It's all in that wedge. You got enough of that? Look at that, won't catch. The snowblower started and I can't answer that stupid three coil thing. So here's a new one. Now you gotta push it in there far. It goes in and then it'll stop. So you gotta take a screwdriver and push it in there. You see it goes in pretty deep and then it stops. So there it is. It's deep in there. So you just push it in with a screwdriver until you feel it click. So this way you don't have to take the whole recoil off. You can't take it off from here because these bolts are not captured in the back. So when you try to unloosen this, it's just gonna spin. So in order to get to the whole recoil, you gotta take the whole recoil off the snowblower which is another four screws you have to undo. But this way, if yours was doing that, all you gotta do is get that clip, which is less than $4, and pop it in there. And what it does is it adds more friction to that little cup, which for the dogs. Now watch when I pull it. See, it catches all the time now. So now all I have to do is just put it all back together in the reverse order I took it apart. And there's your dinner on that. To come as part on a brakes and scrapple. You know what that reminds me of? Reminds me of the old AMC cars. Remember them, American Motors? Those cars were made from GM, Chrysler, and Ford. And if you got an AMC, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I had an AMC, I know. And that's what it had. Chrysler parts, Ford parts, GM parts. And then they made a car out of a bunch of parts. So this is almost like the AMC of snowblowers. All we did was put that little clip in there and it fixed it. There's your tip for today. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. I'm Terrell, showing you how to fix this stuff. Follow me with your recoils on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, buy some of our merchandise like this lovely hoodie. Keep you toasty warm in the winter months. And it says, it's a lawnmower. It's not the space shuttle, it's a lawnmower. Remember that, we're not flying to the moon on it. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Fixing the recoil in time for Christmas! We got snow coming. All right, Mr. Cameraman, you done filming? You better hit the road before you get caught in that snowstorm. Oh, you're no match for my henchmen. <laughs> Hey Jingle Bell, I got a Christmas present for ya! How's that for a stocking stuffer? Well, that's my cue to head on back to the North Pole. <laughs> Guess I'll see you around, Blade Dude and Throttle. Till next year. <laughs> Playman! Chucker's getting away! Get him! Don't worry about him. We'll get him later. I'll untie Santa. You secure the gifts. We have to save Christmas. 
Hope you didn't ruin any of the gifts, Blade Man. Don't worry, Throttle. Nothing's going to pierce through that sack. Looks like we saved Christmas, Blade Man. The town's children are going to have plenty of gifts to open tomorrow. Way to go. Since you guys were such good boys and saved Christmas this year, you can have your presents early. Ah, oh, great. Here you go, Throttle. Thank you. Here you go, Blade Man. Woo! All right. Chainsaw Teddy Bear. Chainsaw Teddy Bear. Ah, ah. This ain't Chainsaw Teddy Bear. This is Weed Eater Teddy Bear. Ah. Well, it's not the end of the world, Blade Man. You should be happy you got anything at all. A bunch of kids just now almost didn't even have Christmas. I want a chainsaw, Teddy Bear. You just ruined Christmas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Bleed Man. No. I saved Christmas, and this is the thanks I get? I want a chainsaw, Teddy Bear. You shouldn't say that, Bleed Man. That's naughty. You know what's naughty? Not giving somebody what they want for Christmas. You better watch your sack, Santa. Are you threatening me? Whoa, 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 calm down, you guys. Check it out, I just found this one. It's got your name on it there, Blade Man. You must have opened the wrong gift on accident. This is all just one big misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blade Man. That's I probably, gave you the wrong gift. That's probably got your thingy in there. Merry Christmas, Blade Man. Oh, now he's happy. Thank you, Santa. Oh, oh, Chainsaw Teddy Bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Santa. We just want to wish y'all happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year from all of us here at Terrell Fixes All. And there's your dinner. Woo! No time to discuss these pointless matters. We need to save Christmas. You kind of plugged the lunch. You're right, Throttle. We have to save. If Christmas gets. We better do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Throttle. I know. I've been dealing with some very nasty boys. And I've been dealing with some very naughty boys. Yeah. I'll pick that one up. Let's start with it. Yes. <laughs> you sure did, Santee. Shut up. <laughs> naughty boys lately. Yes. They mean business. Yes, read it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Take him outside, rough him up. Blade Man and Throttle are probably looking for me right now. Oh, real scared. What are you, drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Those two jokers couldn't even find a dipstick on a chainsaw. An oil, oil dipstick, oh, nonetheless, yeah? all right? What, what, what kind of dipstick? Oh. Ha! Uh, good one, choker! You thought so? That was a pretty good one, right? Because guess what? How's that chain like? cycle. Oh, so chainsaw is a two cycle, right? Oh. Oh, oh. I'm 20 minutes behind him because I can't step on his cape. Well, yeah, and then uh, he's out of the shot now. No. Oh. Thought we were going all the way to the end. Everyone knows you don't change the oil on a chainsaw, moron. I was looking at the camera. Me too. I just realized really that. Me. Good one, choker. Yeah. yeah look keep at looking over there. <laughs> Good one, choker. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows you don't change the oil on a chainsaw dipstick. Yeah, everyone knows you can't change the oil. Get him. Jingle belt. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? It's time to meet Choker's little ornament. Guess what? It's time to meet Santa's little Choker's ornament. Guess what? It's time to meet Choker's little helper. Get him, ornament. <laughs> You shouldn't say that, Terrell. That's naughty. I'm not Terrell. I'm Blade Man. Oh yeah, you shouldn't huh? say that. Blade That's what he told me to say. Mm -hmm. You're right.
Say your line. No, I didn't. I, I can't see over there.